Hello and welcome to Decoded Medicine, where we learn the concepts of medicine. Today I'll help you understand why we see light tick lesions in the bones of people who have multiple myeloma. The term light tick bone lesion means an area of bone damage that often appears as a hole. You can see two radiographic images here one of a skull and another of a pelvis. You can notice the bones in the images and if you see clearly you can see that these bones have holes in them. So this is the normal skull. You can see how smooth the surface looks on an x-ray whereas here is a skull with lytic lesions and you can clearly see the holes in them can see how different they are from each other. Here is a smooth looking pelvis and here is a pelvis that has light tick bone lesions. The question we are trying to solve here is why? To understand this we need to know how normal bone remodeling occurs in normal individuals who are healthy. A person's bone tissue is capable of regenerating. That is, the old bone tissues break down and new bone tissue replaces that. The body is able to carefully balance this process of breakdown of old tissue and its replacement by new bone tissue. And this process is remodeling of the bone which helps maintain the health of the skeleton. And the breakdown of old bone tissue is called as bone resorption, which is performed by the activity of the osteoclastic bone cells. So it is also called as osteoclastic activity. Whereas the replacement by new bone tissue or the formation of the new bone tissue is performed by the action of osteoblastic cells and it's also called as osteoblastic activity. So inside the bone there are different types of cells mainly the osteoblast and osteoclast. The osteoblast helps form new bone tissue whereas the osteoclast helps break down old bone tissue and the breakdown of bone tissue by osteoclast is called as bone resorption and the formation of new bone tissue is performed by osteoblast. An easy way to remember this is by using this clip by memory form where they have used this mnemonic where osteoblast the letter B for build denotes that it helps form new bone tissue whereas osteoclast the letter C helps you remember that C is for chip means it helps break down or it chips down the old bone tissue. So there is this balance in normal healthy bones but in conditions such as multiple myeloma this balance is disrupted leading to the bones becoming weaker that is there is increase in the breakdown of bone and that leads to the formation of these lytic lesions or holes in the bones that are seen in the radiographs. Multiple myeloma cells are the cancerous or malignant cells which are formed due to the malignant proliferation of a certain type of blood cells known as plasma cells and we know that cancerous cells are capable of producing some cytokines and the same way the multiple myeloma cells produce some factors called as osteoclast activating factors so they produce certain kind of cytokines which activate osteoclast which are the bone destroying cells. This leads to breakdown of bone which is uncontrollable and they also inhibit the formation of osteoblast or the bone forming cells 
thereby preventing bone repair. So there is a lot of uh, bone breakdown, but not enough bone repair. This leads to the formation of the lytic lesions in the bone. This image from an NCBI article will help you understand the molecular concept much better. I have included the link below. On one end, you can see the multiple myeloma cells interact with the bone marrow stromal cells and this leads to the production of bone resorption factors such as rank L, interleukin 3, interleukin 6 and MIP alpha. This results in increased osteoclast activation and therefore there is increased resorption or breakdown of bone. On the other end, the multiple myeloma cells also produce inhibitory cytokines such as DKK1, interleukin-3 and interleukin-7 and they also decrease osteoprotegrin production and all of this in turn leads to decrease in the, the activity of osteoblast or bone forming cells leading to less bone formation. So there is increase in the breakdown of bone and decrease in the formation of bone and because of this imbalance we see those lytic lesions in the bone. If you want to understand this even more in detail please feel free to visit this link below. I hope you found this video helpful. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel to see more such videos and do leave me a comment you can leave me a feedback or even give me some topic ideas to cover in the upcoming videos see you in another video until then happy learning